She's the director of the French language program. So Priscilla, you have a little competition. Uh, Carmen Grace is here, and Carmen will introduce Haley Smith. Bonjour. I teach French, as you can guess, and Haley is a junior going to, she majors in mechanical engineering. Perfect match <laughs> of two intellects that somehow managed to have the most wonderful dinner that I've had and I can't tell you how long. Thank you for this wonderful event. Thank you, Seal. Thank you, Chris Livingston. Thank you, Linda Lappy. Thank you, your staff. Thank you, women's basketball, for making a connection that is very difficult to happen naturally. Nobody has the time. You, you made the time for us, and, and we've enjoyed it tremendously. The CU campus is better because of athletes like Haley. She gives it her all in the most modest and unassuming of ways. When I asked her what was the very best part of basketball, she thought for the longest time and said, it's my teammates, it's my coaches, it's this fabulous sport I play that teaches me the most important lessons of life. They're not necessarily easy ones, but they're the most, they're the most valuable. What, could, what can I tell you about Haley? You should know that she started playing basketball when she was not quite this tall. She was um, three years old. And we thank the YMCA for providing basketball for children at that age and time. Both parents were athletes, but put absolutely no pressure on her to follow in their footsteps. When she started playing middle school, high school, thought seriously about which sport it was she liked because she participated in several. Her two schools of choice were CU and Northwestern. Thank you, Haley. <laughs> Thank you for bringing your, your everything, your spirit, your talent to see you. What would, um, what would you say if you were allowed to travel through time, not so much backwards, backwards if you'd like, but maybe forward? Mm -hmm. Would you choose to go back is there somewhere you'd like to visit, someone you'd like to visit? What time frame would you visit, Haley? Mm -hmm. And uh, whom would you visit? Well, so I thought about this question for a little bit. Um, and we were talking kind of, you know, about kind of her experience and her husband's experience um, talking about, you know, ancient cultures and things like that. And so I was like, maybe the past, like maybe I'd go to like ancient Greece or something like that. And then I thought more about it, and I was like, you know, kind of being an engineer um, and working a lot with, you know, kind of thinking of the new, the next best thing, the new invention, things like that. I thought, you know, maybe the future is actually where I'd like to visit um, and just kind of see, you know, what people have been able to do, what life is like, and what I'm doing, because who knows, you know, really what I'm going to be doing. So I'll figure all that out. But, yeah, I think I'd probably like to visit the future. Yeah. Um, but I really wanted to thank you so much for coming out and spending the evening with us and getting to know you. It was a lot of fun. My pleasure. This yeah. beats the heck out of speed dating, I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs>